Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Um, I am going to do another watch review by Invicta today. And this one, um, I'm pretty excited to review. Uh, this is one that my coworker picked up several months ago, and he wears it almost every day, so it was pretty hard for me to get my hands on to do a review. I almost purchased a watch a while back with the brace in the bracelet version. I didn't. I should have. The price was right, and I, I dropped the ball on it. I should have. Um, but if you guys are watching my other videos, I have mentioned that gold is my favorite color in Victa, but um, I have been wanting a black watch in my collection. So on those few occasions where I want to wear something really subdued, black, you know, um, I have that in my collection. And, you know, I bought an Invicta uh, excursion not that long ago and ended up returning it because for about $135, although it was a great watch, it was at, it was at uh, you know, black murdered out, uh, what they call like the combat editions of these watches. Um, I just got on the wrist. I just felt like I was wearing a G-Shock. It didn't really do much for me, you know, and I like G-Shock. Don't get me wrong, but I'm more of a flashy kind of guy, and I, I like when I'm wearing a watch for it to really kind of stand out. And this watch, actually, for a black watch, really does stand out. And the watch I'm talking about today is this model right here. This is your Sub Aqua Specialty Jason Taylor Limited Edition. And what this watch has done is your standard 52 millimeter Sub Aqua case. You have your, uh, I believe it's about 20 millimeters in case thickness. And what you have, and I don't know if you can see by this video here, but you have a polished black plating on the entire watch. And inside the watch, what they call this uh, case and cradle design, you have a black carbon fiber. Then you have your Jason Taylor logo, your exhibition back, and of course, uh, you, know, you can see that mirror polished black finish. And then you have what they call a, what I would call actually, a raised uh, column bezel, where you have these columns. And this version of this watch comes in several different executions. Um, basically, it's the same watch. This has the poly band. But what you have is that these columns or these, uh, I guess, marker locations in this real thin polishing. See this contrast right here? This thin silver strip. And then on the inside of that bezel is actually available in a red, a blue, a gold, a rose tone gold, and, of course, um, the, uh, the silver, if I didn't say that already. Right? Silver, blue, yellow. Rose gold, yellow gold, I think those are the only executions. <laughs> Again, this one is done, oh, they have this really cool looking, um, kind of like a, it almost looks like a tire tread band. It's very aggressive, very masculine watch. And this watch, for a black watch, it really stands out. And I think the reason it does, because you have that mirror polished with the contrast. You have your carbon fiber on the inside of the case, which I know it's hard to tell by the video, but it's a really nice contrast where you really notice it in person. And, of course, you have that carbon fiber right around the, the, the um, would be what would be the where the standard bezel be attached, and then you have again that lifted what I would call a columned bezel, and then you have a silver or a charcoal colored um, or I'd call like a graphite carbon fiber face, and uh, this is a beautiful watch. Again, 52 millimeters in case uh, diameter, thickness about 20 millimeters, and this for you who are looking to buy this watch, if you want to buy this, click the link in the description. I'll take you to any of these models where you're gonna get the best deal, um, and it helps support the channel while you're at it. Um, this one here is powered by a Ronda Z60 movement, and again, this is a limited edition Jason Taylor edition. Uh, model number in this particular one is your one, uh, what we got here, you got your 17824, okay? A beautiful watch, guys. If you're looking for a black watch for your collection, this is definitely one that is going to stand out from your standard black watch. And I always, in my opinion, I always feel like a black watch doesn't really get noticed too much, and you really have to have something to kind of set it apart. Now, I think that if I ever purchase a black watch, it's going to be something along the lines of either this, which I wish I would have got it in the old bracelet version, which is, I dropped the ball on it. Um, but if I ever get my hands on it, I'll definitely get this particular model. If not, I'll go get like a full-size Sea Hunter because that's such a big watch, it's going to be noticed even in the black. So this is going to be a shorter video today, um, a little bit more about the weight. It's about 8 ounces non-bracelet version. Uh, if you have your bracelet version, it's uh, about as, the same weight as... Um, your standard sub aqua specialty. Check out my video. I have the all gold one with rose tone. I did another video review on that if, if the black isn't your cup of tea. A beautiful watch. Definitely one for to have in your collection. I have 1,650 feet of water resistance and you know you got your standard screw down function pushers. I believe that the function pushers and crown on this one is just slightly different than your standard sub aqua. To me it looks like on the Jason Taylor edition you are your uh, function pushers are a little bit smaller than they would be on your standard sub aqua specialty. So without further ado, let me go ahead and throw it on the wrist. Now I'm about 165 pounds. I weigh uh, 165 pounds. I'm about five foot seven, five foot eight, and uh, I have a seven inch wrist. So all these watches look pretty big on me, and that's what I pride my channel on is really showing you what the watch looks like on the wrist. And it gives you a really good indication of what it's going to look like on you. Now the only thing with the poly bands is that they're not adjustable. What I, what I mean, 
uh, excuse me, they are adjustable, but it's not adjustable like your bracelet version. So when you go ahead and put this on, if you have a small wrist, you're going to have some extra band hanging. That's just something you have to deal with with any poly band or leather band for that matter because that's just the way it works like that. It, if you're a big guy, you have a nine and a quarter inches of band length, so this is going to fit a really large wrist. Uh, but on a smaller wrist like mine, you can see there is a little bit of extra strap on there, but it's not bad at all. Uh, my coworker has been wearing this one for a while now, and he absolutely loves it. And uh, he's got a slightly smaller wrist than me. I believe he has about six and a half. And uh, they just look fantastic. It's a good looking watch. It's a big watch. But just remember, it's still 52 millimeter, but when it's done in black, black is slimming, so it is going to make the watch look a little smaller. So naturally, if you're used to wearing your, you know, your standard, um, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it, your full size Sea Hunters and some of the larger Invictas like your uh, Grand Arsenal or Grand Octane, this is going to be a little smaller. But if you are looking for a black watch that stands out, this is definitely one, again, you should have in your collection. It just has a lot of features that really make the watch pop and kind of, they don't make it look so black. It's a classy looking black watch. And like I said, I think in the black uh, bracelet version, I think I would have been really happy with this. But, you know, you know how Invicta goes, the price jumps. Uh, right now, this watch you can't get for under like 800 bucks, I think. Uh, but you might find, I've seen a few versions, not in the silver uh, columned version like this one, but in like a red, I think I found. Click the link in the description. It'll take you to where you can actually still find this stuff. Uh, but you might have to settle for a red or a blue uh, if they're not, uh, if you can't, you know, get the silver one. Because right now, this thing came out. It is a limited edition, and they sold really quickly. So, not to say that you might not find it in the bracelet, but let me tell you, when I was looking, I could, I could pick this watch up for $190. And right now, you're not going to find it for that. So, if you want it, you're going to pay a little more for it. But definitely, if you are an Invicta watch collector and you don't have a Jason Taylor Subaka specialty, I would definitely recommend getting it. I wish I would have picked one up. So that's the quick video, folks. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. I really appreciate all the subscribers, up to 4,150 subscribers and climbing. Uh, you guys have been awesome, very supportive. Uh, I'll keep the videos coming, keep the watch reviews going. And if you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to find me on Facebook. Become part of the Wrist Shot Action. And don't hesitate to leave a comment. I love getting back to you guys. Um, also, remember, anytime that you click the link in the description, you go to fatcatwatches.com. If you make any eBay purchases that run through my links, it does help to support the channel, and I really appreciate it. It keeps the watch reviews coming, and, um, man, it keeps the collection growing. So once again, guys, thank you so much. Remember to subscribe, and have a wonderful day.